Good evening, I'm Jeff Anderson in the Bonfies Masterpiece Studio here at KUVO, and tonight it's time for another edition of Live at the Oasis, the High School Collegiate Series. And this evening we have the Denver School of the Arts Jazz Band under the direction of Dave Hammond. So how'd you get started on this whole thing? First the uh, music and then the education issue. What happened was um, I always had uh, people in education in Denver that knew what I was doing, that I was playing with or hired, hired by, who kept saying, you, you, you should be a teacher, you should be a teacher. And I was just like, I don't want to teach, I want to play. What, did they see something in you that led them to believe that <laughs> you'd be a good teacher? Evidently, I think maybe they did and I didn't because I just didn't want to be a teacher. But then Jack Fredrickson, who uh, was the initial teacher at DSA, um, teaching instrumental music, who played in the Hot Tomatoes and, and did all this great stuff in, in Denver, uh, called me and said, hey, come and be my assistant. You talked about building up the program. Can you tell us about that? Um, when I started at DSA as a teacher, um, things were left in really good shape because Orlando Otis, who's a dear friend of mine, was the director before, and he did a fabulous job um, with uh, the school and all that. When I came in, my thought was the happiest time in my life was at Berkeley College of Music and where I got my undergrad. And it was so fabulous because there were all these people there playing for eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours a day, and all of them were just happy and everybody played in groups with everyone else and there were people like Makoto Ozone walking around and people like Pat Metheny walking through the halls and in between tours and it was just the most happiest place in the world. And I thought if I could bring that or recreate that in any way, in a school in Denver, wouldn't that be a fabulous place to come to work? And, you know, through hard work and perseverance and, and a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, that helps a lot of things, doesn't it? It does. And, and at DSA, we've been really lucky um, to, to have some really good support, uh, bringing in great uh, artists and, and people to work with the students every week. Um, and uh, I know a lot of other schools don't have that. But um, we, I kind of broke the mold and started doing that and saying this is what our charter was at the very beginning, is to bring our local artists in to work with the kids. So gosh darn it, we're going to do it. to say every day for me is just it's it's a phenomenal thing uh, working with these students you hear them and 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 your audience will hear them in a, in, in a second um, they're amazing players already and the reason why they're amazing players is they listen to the music over and over and over again they're obsessed with this thing called jazz um, and for me uh, the memories I take are just the everyday working with these brilliant kids. What you have to do, it, you, you work through those times, but the, the highs are amazing with these kids because it's always, I, I don't feel like I'm going to teach high school or middle school. I feel like I'm going to work with a bunch of musicians, which in my line of work is, is really a rare thing, I think. I started in a teacher at DSA at 97, so but been with the school for over 30 years. So. Okay, and uh, this is uh, coming down to the end, isn't it? I am retiring this year, so it's a little bit, um, it's sad, it's melancholy. Let's talk about your legacy. How do you want to be remembered, Dave? I want to be remembered as somebody who did some good for, for kids and who kind of set the bar as to what is, can, be, can be done at a high school 
middle school level. That's that's kind of what I want to be is remembered for is like who uh, somebody who really set the bar high and always achieved that and then maybe kept inching that bar up every year. Okay. And I feel like you know when I listen, my wife always says, I, I come home every 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 year in October and I'm like this I think this is the best jazz band I've ever had and she says you know you say that every year I said no I don't and she's and then we battle it out um, but it's really true I, uh, I I think we raise the bar every year and I think people look at DSA and go if we could be a little bit more like that we'd be you know a healthier music program yeah so if I've nice. done that I've done my job yeah 